And there is good news for politicians and business leaders, but in the news business, not so much. American Think Tank and Pew Research Center came out with this annual report of the state of the news media in the United States. Karina Huber has some of the key findings. U.S. outlets have laid off workers in unprecedented numbers for a decade. According to a new study by the Pew Center, those cuts are resulting in lower quality content that is turning news consumers off. Its survey found that a third of U.S. adults deserted a news organization they once counted on for information. The public is becoming aware to some degree of some of the impacts of diminished journalistic reporting resources, boots on the ground, however you want to call it. The main casualties of squeezed budgets? Investigative, foreign, and in-depth reporting. Television outlets are also cutting back on packaged pieces and live segments, filling their airtime with less costly interviews. The reduced resources and the rise of social media sites are making it easier for those in positions of power to speak directly to the public without the filter of reporters who in the past could contextualize and challenge their messages. That also means that there needs to be, you know, a, a, in some ways, a more uh, educated news consumer who's going to be able to tell the difference between news and opinion. But it's not all doom and gloom. Nonprofit organizations that do investigative pieces like ProPublica are sprouting up all across the country, and their reports are getting picked up by mainstream outlets. Also, Americans have more access to information via the Internet than they've ever had before. But... Are you getting professionally generated, accurate, credible information, or are you using uh, and relying on user, what, what is called user-generated information? Information that anyone with access to a computer can produce. The problem is it doesn't go through the vetting process of a legitimate outlet, making it increasingly important for people to better understand how content is created and manipulated. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.